Hey, welcome to another video from The Outdoor Analyst. Today I've got a fun one for you. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. I might just call it Bowie's Gone Wild, <laughs> something like that. This is just going to be a fun little video talking about what I kind of believe are two different styles of Bowie knives. And I've moved... I've moved on a lot in my thought process for big knives. I love big knives. They work really well for me and my property, uh, where I do with it, clearing deer stands and just trailing and all that sort of stuff. Big knives are fantastic. And, but for the most part, I have stayed away from Bowie knives because I never really considered them to be great in the woods. They usually have that connotation of their fighting knives. I mean, they usually have a huge clip point on them. They're very stabby, very pokey, and they do their job incredibly well. But for me, that's not really been something that I've ever really wanted out of my knife. Like I usually want it to be a woods knife first and foremost, and then aesthetics afterwards. And I've kind of decided they're, they're sort of two sort types of bowies in my mind now. And, I, and I've gone this way with them. Um, the lovely shiny mountain bowie is a knife that got me into Bowie's. And I gotta say, thank you, Bark River, for, well, <laughs> maybe in Glorious Bastards, let's be real, uh, that got me into this knife. It has been a beast. I've just gone through a lot of wood processing with it. A lot of trees that have come down from this knife and uh, been processed down. A lot of trails that have been taken care of with it. And I love the fact that, yes, it's clipped, it might even have a distal taper to it, but it, it actually is still allows you to baton with it. And for me, that's usually a big part of my woods knives. And on the other end, I think you just have, it's pretty obvious, there's the, the glorious stabby sort of Bowie knives. And that's exactly what they're made for. And thanks to some hunts I'm going on, it's exactly what I picked with this this guy and the gunfighter up for is because they are incredibly just thin almost a secondary edge up here they're meant to just penetrate and that's what i wanted from it and so that is just a beautiful thing it's it's light it's fast and i think that's what makes a bowie really special it's light and fast in the hand and it has a, a good guard on it. Uh, to me, if it's, you're gonna be getting into that sort of thing, you need something that's gonna stop your hand from moving up. So these kind of fit the bill for me in that area. And I do kind of consider that to be two different styles of Bowies. Like you do have a straight up fighting Bowie and then you have kind of more along the lines of your woods Bowie. And um, you know, you can have a real heavy kind of chopper that works really well. I also have a lighter version. Um, this is a Highwayman 3 from Bark River, and big fan of this knife. Um, now, I have had several different ones. I only kept this one. The other two were incredibly thin at the front, to the point where they tapered off so much that I think they're just a little too weak. <laughs> I know that's crazy to say, but yeah, I think they had some issues. Quality control is not the same. They're also about an inch longer than this one. So maybe this isn't the normal one, but this is more on the lines of what I consider a woods a really nice woods bowie and this is the one that i've kept and put it through a good amount of use you know we've had some trees come down over the last storm and this was the main processor for them and uh man just did did great did a good job was not as big a chopper as the bowie but um man it's kind of my lightweight like i'm actually going to put this on the hip sort of sort of bowie uh, in the woods and and that's really 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 nice and i've been hunting out there doing some squirrel and um, just kind of seeing which what weight i'm comfortable with taking and gunfighter is actually great great in the woods no issues on a long-term hunt with that probably weighs an extra five or six ounces more than the bell bowie maybe even more than that this thing's super super light so i know this is gonna be perfect on the hip okay to have this on the left side and something that actually matters on the right but as a finishing knife this is this is exactly what i what i wanted and probably what i'll carry the most so to me that's the two different style bowies that are out there find one that works really well for you i love the woods bowie style this comes with me a lot whenever i'm doing real work i love these these are just intimidating beautiful and they penetrate like crazy Whew, it is just they're just awesome at it, no doubt. Uh, so, 
Either way, I just wanted to throw out there that Bowie knives are pretty awesome. They're great for outdoors. There are some different styles. If you really kind of plan on doing more woods work, maybe find a clip point that isn't as thin up front so you can still have some, some work with it. And you have a lot more heft at the front for chopping if it's not as clipped off. This does not have a lot of weight at the front, so chopping is not its forte by any means. It'll still do some light chopping, but it's gonna be more your weight's going to be more back versus forward. And that's where you're going to get your power on this thing. Whereas this thing, it's, it's a lot more forward heavy. You can get a little more length and a lot more power out of it. But it is a lot heavier too. And that's kind of a, a benefit of having those clips, distal tapers that are involved in it. So you can get a very light, fast wielding knife by doing that. And you can get a lot of length out of it too without the extra weight. So... That, that's a really good design that they, that they came up with back in the day. Rather, that was Jim Bowie, his brother, I think, is the, more likely the, the man that made the knife for him. And then you've got a ton of different versions of it. I think this was a Lon Humphrey's version of a Samuel Bell knife who had uh, made it off of the, off the Bowie there. And, um, man, just some, some almost like Texas toothpick-like. Very, very cool. There's just a lot of different things out there. But overall, the genre is cool. It's useful. I've used these a ton. Mostly the, the Bark Rivers, just because I've, I've done more woods work with them. But the, the Lawn Humphreys are going to get a lot of work here soon. They're going <laughs> to be put to work on some hogs and maybe some other stuff. So it's going to be uh, going to be interesting this year, and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, that was my, uh, that's my Bowie video. Hope you had fun. Do all the likes, subscribing. If you enjoyed it, if not... All good, man. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>